Okay. Now about sex and then um, stress. Mm -hmm. Well, stress. I mean, sex is a great sex relieving mm -hmm. um, tool if done for the right reasons. Okay. Uh, if you, on the other hand, decided to have sex where you lace your system with all these aphrodisiacs, sadly you are stressing your you body. You are stressing your body. Okay. So if you're having sex with the normal capacity as mm. a human being and you're enjoying it, that's great. Mm. It helps to calm you down. In fact, if you look at um, what happens, like the muscles generally relax after a great uh, um, episode of sex. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, if you're wearing yourself out two hours, three hours, you're actually stressing yourself. Or if you're having sex to impress, mm. what you're doing is you have a performance anxiety. So the act of sex is not for relaxation, neither is it for pleasure. It's just to make a conquest and that can be stressful. So remember, the thought comes in. The thinking process behind the action equally matters in this regard. Okay. What's one thing can one do to overcome a relationship stress? Awesome. Well, I wish there was more context. Right. Because relationships really can come from. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just the person who's trying to ask about boy girl relationships. I know, but they, they can come from uh, different dimensions. Uh, it could come from infidelity, yeah. uh, lack of emotional concern, um, finances, etc., etc. Mm. Now, maybe I'll give a general statement and say remember one thing you are a priority. Okay, mm. whether you're in you a are a priority, you are a priority yourself. Exactly. Now, the kind of energy that you give out is exactly the same way you are treated by people. 